So we knew how the others have learned about Sarah's death, but we can tell how Tycoon, I mean, Kiwa is actually upset because that's the only family that she has left, that he has left, knowing of how his sponsor tried to cheer him up, but he doesn't want to hear what he has to say, knowing of how everything has gone out of order. So now we heard from Dai Chi, which you can see clearly on the right side of his face of all the marks of his face, knowing how he told everyone that the world is on the brink of destruction because, of course, the <clears throat> Yamato's infection actually plays because of how the first stage is the human infection where it began infecting the people but gays have arrived to defeat the Yamato's and save the people but the second stage is where the same fate happened to Sarah because the second stage is where the humans will turn back into normal knowing how everything has actually turned into a permanent stage but we knew how all the writers actually knew what has happened but we see Buffa defeat the Jamatos, not knowing of how the humans would die. However, we knew that his sponsor began teasing him, but we actually heard from Ace and Wynn that the committee, which of course the previous DGP wanted uh, Sumi's power. So we knew that they are going to hide her, but knowing how they are going to figure out how to hide her, because she wanted to stay by Ace's side. So we can tell how everything is going to happen. But we can tell how Kiwa wanted to figure out what he needs to do to avenge his sister. So, knowing of how the others fighting on their own occur, we see Neon speaking with her father about what has happened during of the fact that Akiri, I mean Akari isn't around anymore due to the fact that the events that actually happened because of how all of this have played out. But then during the shopping date we see Ace meeting up with Jinto knowing of how he told him that a suit me uh, me is their property, but is not the fact that she isn't going anywhere, which Ace has said, because we knew how they're going to fight, which Wynn is going to join in the battle. But Kiwa decided to keep her safe, and by that, we do actually mean how they knew that Kiwa wanted a new power, which of course, she is going to help him, by which he's going to get his final form as well. Meanwhile, we see Daichi looking at the tree, 
where people have had their faces into the tree, which he said that the the collective memories will be his. But we knew how Buffa continued to defeating more Jamatos and killing people, but we knew how they actually realize of how Kiwa is going to battle using a new rise buckle, Bushin Sword Rise Buckle, where it's actually a katana shaped buckle, which he going to use it onto the driver, which he now have the Tycoon Shogun mode, but knowing how he had the darker side, but he's in himself. However, during a reference, we see him doing this with his fingers, the same technique that actually happened in the Tokyo Ghoul anime series, but we see him using the Bushin Sword Strike and Bushin Sword Victory on Tycoon. I mean, Buffa, sorry. But we can tell how he has a new move to actually defeat Buffa in his battle with his final form. So right now, Tycoon has his final form, the Ocean Sword Rise Buckle, which of course using that in his final form, but it has a darker power within it, which of course this could be a more destructive than that, but he's still himself because of how everything actually has happened. So we knew how all of this actually has happened. So right now, we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment all I think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page and Twitch. Until then, this is Dan Megadron here saying sign out. Laters and be safe.